international boxing and to a man who is taking the heavyweight scene by storm in the United States. Mike Tyson is almost into the heavyweight unification series. At 20, he has an awesome undefeated record of 26 fights, 24 of which were KOs, and was set to face Trevor Burbick for the WBC title in November if he could win his fight earlier today against the former world cruiserweight champion, Alfonso Ratliff. Ratliff, at 6 feet 5 inches, could be an awkward customer. Ratliff's been in with some very impressive men too, but he suffered three defeats and he's been knocked out by two world champions, Tim Witherspoon in 1981 and Pinklin Thomas in 1983. Now let's see if Tyson can produce his most explosive form in the scheduled 10 rounder, commentary by Reg Guthridge. So the staring from Alfonso Ratliff, I must say, you notice that height there, six foot five, what an advantage, Davey Pearl, out? local referee. Well then you better get out, Phil. Come on. Now uh, listen to me now, listen to me again, will you, Alonso? Look at me. Look at me now, damn it. I want to talk to you. Remember what we said, keep the fight clean, everything will be cool. First guy that messes up, it's going to cost him. Shake hands now and good luck to you. Well, very firm indeed, isn't he there, referee Davey Pearl? And there's the rundown again. Ten years, of course, in uh, age and quite a bit in height there, as you can see. And indeed, the 20 pounds difference in the weight. Alfonso Ratliff, former WBC cruiserweight champion of the world. Now, can he score yet another one-round win or not here, Mike Tyson? He's had 15, remember, from 26. Ratliff has been talking a very good fight, I must say. He's been uh, putting Tyson down quite a bit. He just strolled in the ring there, Tyson, a real old gladiator. No socks, no robe, no fuss. Didn't even uh, acknowledge the crowd. Let's get down to business. He's all he wants to do. So there it is, the man with the, the red stripes on his trunk's gonna be on his bike for quite a while, use his height and indeed speed, it would seem keep out of the way of this man because he's he's a bit dangerous at any time of the fight but particularly at the start october marvis frazier 30 seconds oh well, referee david pearls clapping hands there and saying come on let's go he doesn't want the, the hit and hop it stuff from ratliff but he's that's the first punch he's nailed in. The crowd knew it, and Ratliff knew it. Oh, he's done him with a left hook to start with. And, uh, no, nope. I don't know why he's not calling that a knockdown, really. It was a slip, but it was a, he also tripped over a left hook, I thought. He talks well, Ratliff, but he's not doing much in this round, is he? Except run for his life, not that I can blame him. Most exciting fighter to hit the heavyweight scene with a minute to go in the opening round. Then. Really means business now that he's got this chance of being in this knockout series to unify the championship of the world. He knows how to stalk fighters the whole time, Tyson. Cut that ring size down a bit. Turn him loose. Turn him loose. Well, that's a good thing to say about any fighter there. It sounds like open the cage, really, doesn't it? One or two people are saying, well, we've got to see Mike Tyson take a shot, but with the size of that neck, 19 it's inches, it's really bolted onto the shoulders. I'm sure he could take a punch, all right. Strictly a survival round there by Alfonso Ratliff. And there's Tyson and the rundown with the statistics. And that's Kevin Rooney. Can you cut that ring down, you understand? So that's quite obvious to cut that ring down. That means he's got to cut the corners off, stop him running. Just a little bit. Don't go one Cut the ring down. Cut him down the right way. 
down with your farm with your farm with your farm with the angle down there it is. The beat and actually uh, by Tim Witherspoon and Pinkman Thomas. They were full heavyweights. And he fought on the Bruno Witherspoon bill at Wembley last July, defeating Stanley Ross. But uh, a fight to forget as far as uh, Ratliff was concerned. So out for the second round then, scheduled for 10. He has had the experience now a couple of times, Tyson, of going 10 rounds. In fact, more than three times to be exact. No, uh, that's right. It went to the last round, Mitchell Green, so it was actually twice that he finished 10 rounds. Tyson, he doesn't allow the opposition to settle down. Rabalta did this in his last fight, the Cuban, but as I say, he caught up with him in the final round. Mitchell Green did, in fact, stay the distance just. Oh, what a left hook! Just separated himself from his senses there. What a punch! He hits you with everything. He's hanging on to the bottom rope, that lift. I don't think he's going to make this. It's nine. I'm surprised you didn't count him out in the act of rising there, Davy Pearl. In Britain, that certainly would have been so. And it's just a question of how long now, isn't it? Because uh, right at the start of the round, Tyson's got the man on the hook, and he won't let him off. Sure. Midway through. Well, the talking came to nothing, and that's it. The referee should be in there now, as far as I'm concerned because it's all over by the shouting, the right hand, there's no need for him to take this, and he stopped it as he hit the floor, and it should have been earlier. What a tremendous performance. Now, Rat Ratliff doesn't uh, get knocked over. Whatever you can say that he's only really a pumped up light heavyweight, 14 stone five is no little man. And the way Tyson finished him really was awesome. Hardly blowing, almost. He, he created more sweat coming into the ring than he did in the actual fight. This man really is some fighter, there's no doubt about it. I, I can't believe at 20 years of age he can do all these things. And his aim, of course, is to win the world championship in record time. His uh, great pal then, Floyd Patterson, who was with his late great mentor, Customato, won it when he was 21. So let's have a look at the replay now as, you, as he catches him up there, backing off. That's the punch that started the downfall there. I was amazed that the referee let him go on after that. Now from the overhead camera, backs into the ropes, legs, legs well spread, and then bingo, he had no chance with that one. And the third angle, it's bad enough seeing it first time. Now that's the second time that he moved into him there. This surely it was when it was all over and there was no point in him going on he just didn't know where he was bravely trying to stand up i give him credit for that but as he hit the deck the referee waved it all over well he's a fearsome young man isn't he